Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of microscopic uh, viewing of the chemtrail uh, spiderweb type fibers that appeared uh, in my uh, tree October 25th, 2015. And what we're looking at here is a very fine dog hair. And I think this is about 200 power, but with this uh, astronomy telescope on here, I, I really would have to sit down for a while and calculate it. So this is a very, very fine dog hair, the kind that floats around in the air and winds up in your food, and you say, wow, how did that get there? And, okay, now here is a human hair. This is a human hair, and very tough to wiggle because I don't have a XY stage. Uh, I've got to pull that back down so we can measure it real quick. Okay, there we go. Make sure it's in focus. Okay, that's that's reasonable, whatever. So anyway, human hair, this is uh, low power, and I, I'm just going to make a wild guess that it's a couple hundred power. Okay, so using the center scale, and it's like 85 millimeter. 85 millimeters of human hair. Now let's look <clears throat> at a real spider web, which I, I robbed from a poor little spider hanging outside my door. <clears throat> And unfortunately, uh, this actually has, I use the silk in the center of the web so it's covered with the sticky globules. But we can still see how thick the fiber is. If I can get it in the screen. Okay, let me focus. Right, now. Uh, the fiber's in there, but it's got this sticky glue around the web. So let me look around a little more. Oh, there we go. That's what we want. Okay, now this is real spider silk. And I know because I robbed one of these little brown orb spiders a minute ago. And apparently that those oblong shapes are the sticky glue that's on the uh, web. Very, very clever. I'm telling you, it's amazing. So if we measure this one, it's about, uh, gee, I don't know, hard to tell, four, four millimeter. Now let's look at the chemtrail fibers that showed up in the treetop that was in my video earlier. And I've got many of these samples. I went outside in the late afternoon and in ten minutes I had six samples of this stuff. And just it was globules just hanging off of uh, different weeds and things. Okay, now here's here's these are the the actual fibers that showed up in the treetop. This stuff is all over the place today uh, here in Texas. And also, I've got to mention the humidity was 20% when all this was going on. So maybe it requires a low humidity. Now let's, uh, it's kind of hard to see this focus here, but uh, if I could possibly try to focus it just a little bit more. They're very, very fine fibers. They're very thin. And maybe I just pick this one here at the end, try and measure it. You know, the focus is... I have zero budget, and uh, one guy just trying to do all this by himself is not too easy. Okay, so let's measure this, and we're getting, you know, like, I don't know, two millimeter. So the human hair was 85, just on this particular scale, arbitrary magnification here. 85 millimeter, and now... Spider web was what four, and this looks to be. Uh, it's so it's so fine. I can't actually measure because I can't see the the outline clearly. But also, you know, in regular microscopy, you will you'll fix the sample so that you don't have an index or ref, uh, a reflective surface under the cover slip. And since I don't know what this stuff is, I'm not going to put any liquid or anything. And that's why we're getting a lot of this optical distortion and why it's so hard to tell. Ah, now there's a good fiber towards the top upper left. Now that one looks pretty good. Let's measure it. 
it's again about I don't know maybe maybe three three millimeters on this size so it's it's much finer than spider silk and also they're a variable size now let me look at another sample I just you know they were just hanging off of treetops and all kinds of things and uh, oh, here's a here's a very fat globule and the difference there's a huge difference between spider web and these chemtrail fibers spider webs are strong I mean you've got to actually pull and break them whereas this stuff oh this is much better this stuff the slightest touch and it all wads up into a ball and disappears because it's attracted to itself wherever it touches it sticks so it's kind of like uh, wanting to grow and uh, I think what we're seeing right here is there are some fibers like this very very thin and then others that are have grown and are fat and thick so it's not just growing lengthwise it's growing diameter wise now that's a really thin one right there in the middle if I could find my uh, protractor here we go and we go just measure this one here and you know it's really hard to guess to make that but one or two millimeter very thin whereas compare it with some of the larger ones oh my gosh these two the center bottom there well you know without having a fix fixing the cover slip sample and staining it and also uh, there's a lot of high-tech microscopes that would be much better for this but it's like I said before these fibers are very straight featureless uh, if we were to look at the spider web some more you'd see that it's actually got a granularity to it but this stuff is uh, extremely smooth I'm gonna move and look at a different spot in fact you know I can move the this around a little bit and sort of pan anyway this is what you're breathing folks and uh, people were wondering hey why don't you do some lab analysis or whatever this is the first day I have ever seen this or maybe I've seen it before and not known what it was but it was when I looked up at the the Sun itself and saw all that apparently spider silk falling that's when I knew wow this is not normal and then you could see it hanging off of the trees and uh, you know it was in the morning was when it was the thickest and then as the afternoon goes on it wads up into uh, these tangles of white white material so and it's pretty difficult to actually get a sample like this now some of this may be uh, hmm. uh, and I apologize because I did not clean these slides or cover slips before grabbing these samples and that was a huge mistake but also if I had some uh, something to fix these slides with I would uh, definitely do it and then mail them off to somebody but anyway I thought people would want to see and just for grins I'm gonna go back to the spider web because that's very interesting and if I can find it real quick that ain't it actually with these slides not being fixed uh, if you lift them up at an angle like that the cover slip fall, falls off so well I think I just did that so that's the end of the video I uh, hope that helps folks understand what we're breathing thanks a lot